All right, so here I am. Hey, it's me. <laughs> I love that guy. So, you know, I've just been sitting here just, you know, going over a lot of stuff, thinking about a lot of stuff, and it's just insane how much everything is turned upside down, turned backwards, or twisted. I mean, that's, you know, Satan's uh, greatest tricks. Nobody seems to get it. You know, so many people don't realize that this obviously is his world that we live in. How else could he have offered all the kingdoms to Jesus if he did not own them? But I digress. <laughs> no, it's uh, it just seems to be complete insanity the more that you look into everything to see you know, the lies that they are, and just how, you know, irritating it is, and you wonder, like, man, how do you fight this, and, you know, I, I've had this, you know, thing for a while, you know, inside of me, of, of course, and I'm sure any, you know, real truth or anybody that, you know, does any kind of research or is any kind of follower of the true father that, you know, it's like, whoa, it almost seems like it's too much, that there's no possible way to win. And, you know, one of the things that I hate the most, and I'm not going to say that I hate it, but it irritates me when people are like, well, it, you know, it's how they said it was going to be and, you know, what is going to happen has to come to pass. I totally get that. But when they say it in such a pass passive way of like, well, you know, there isn't really anything you can do, so, you know, just step back and, you know, eat some popcorn and enjoy the show. See, I don't, I, I can't take it like that. You know, I, in no way do I think I'm going to be one of the 12,000 out of one of the 12 tribes, which equals the uh, 144,000. I don't know what I am to be, but I know I'm to be something. But it irritates me when people just kind of say, well, it's what's going to come to pass and it is what it is. Try not to stress on it too much. No. No. If I was not meant to stress on it, I would not come to have learned it and know it. We are supposed to stress on it. We are supposed to worry about it. This is the battle of all battles. Everything has, everything in the supposed history that we've been taught to a point has all led up to this point. We are supposedly the last generation. Everything has led up to this, and you're going to tell me that we come to find all this knowledge and all this understanding, and we're supposed to sit back and just be like, well, you're going to enjoy the show. No, we've been put here to fight. You are a watchman. God has, throughout history, used people that nobody would have expected him to use. Whether Trump is... You know, on truly uh, the the true father's side or, you know, the God of this world side. That's still to be seen. But for all the stuff that goes against him for what he does that seems to be pretty good things, you'd imagine maybe he might be doing what he's supposed to be doing one way or another. You know, what does disturb me, though, you know, there are so many things that we don't even look into that, you know, throughout history, it's always been about baby's blood. It's always been about blood, 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 blood. Everything is. And, you know, do any of your own research. You Look into where all these little freaking uh, baby fetuses and, you know, the women can now get abortions at full term pretty much. You know, where do these fetuses go? Where do these things go? Where is all of the, where are all of these things going? I mean, I've had reports of people that said that they worked at these places and saying only one time that they actually went and put, you know, a body into the, or, you know, a fetus into the freezer or this or that. The rest, they just all got shipped off. Shipped off to where? Nobody knew. You know, that one that probably got put in the freezer was probably maybe the mother saying, hey, I want to bury it. Who knows? You know, it, it is just really insane to me for me to just try to find the understanding of everything and I know no man will ever understand everything that is impossible but one thing that I have come to learn is even the biggest idiots in the world have something to teach you 
And, you know, I listen to a lot of people that have very good information and a lot of people that actually research stuff and look it up, this, that, and other thing. And nobody knows everything. But if you're smart enough to go through what the people that you know and you trust. And that's the funny thing with me. Like, I'll come across somebody and I'm like, man, this person's like dead on about, you know, everything. And then they'll say something and I'll be like, oh, okay. And then I have to, you know, refrain myself and be like, of course, nobody knows everything. And I'm not saying I'm anything special or anything like that. But I do feel that I've been given the ability for to see the discernment in between what is real truth and what is lies. And I've come to realize there's a lot of people out there with a lot of good truth, but they still haven't put the whole picture together. They they feel that they have or they've done a very good job. Many of them done a very good job. But still, the whole picture seems to be hidden from everybody. And, you know, I'm just going to, I got so much that I just, but I'm just going to go with it right here. You know, how could we ever know God's glory without free will? How could we ever come to show God how much we appreciate him, the true father, how much we appreciate him and that we love will fight and make it through everything and is stronger than everything And the love for him is better than anything else in this world. Just how are we ever supposed to come and understand that with nothing but sunshine and dandelions? You know, we're we're not. You know, and that's the sad thing. You know, everything is ordained by God. Because we were given free will. And whether we want to call it a curse, a gift, or whatever you want to call it. We were given this free will so that we could actually be smart enough. To maybe have the ability to come to understand why we were given everything that we were given. I mean, tell me this. If you were going to play a video game, which, hey, who knows? We're living in the Matrix. But if you were going to play a video game, would you want it to be easy? What accomplishment would you feel by the time of putting, you know, 4, 5, 10, 12, 20... 50 hours into a video game that was easy as hell. You would feel gypped. But now if it challenged you and was hard and da 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 pissed you off, made you angry, wanted you to throw your remote, pull your hair out, this, that, and da 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 and then you beat that game, you're going to feel some kind of accomplishment. So, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, put this life into a piddly thing, just call it a game. But at the same time, it is. So how are you playing the game? How are you doing what needs to be done? How are you appreciating what you are given on this chance to actually be put through the trials and tribulations that you've been put through? Because, you know, who knows what any of you are? Are you the pinky of God? Are you a pinky toe of God? Are you a freckle on God's hand? Who knows what you are, but you are a part of God. No matter what that part is, you are a part of him. And you have your role to play. Now, are you going to play that role and be honored to play that role? Or are you going to sit and bitch and whine and complain and not even do your part? So he needs to bring somebody else up to do the part that he hoped that you would be able to do. That is upon you. That is your choice. So, you know, looking into all this stuff and, you know, even... You go down to Queen Elizabeth or whatever. Queen Diane. Yeah, Diane. The one that got killed and died and all that. Do you know how many interviews and how many recordings there were of her literally saying that, you know, the Queen and the the royal family were reptilians? And I'm not getting into this reptilian thing that they're lizards, but let, let me let me shake my stick at this for a second. A lot of people, anybody that's into your real research, they realize that there are three parts to our brain. And the smallest, most backward or whatever, the oldest, whatever you want to call it, part of our brain is reptilian. And you can ask any doctor or whatever, we have a tail when we start to grow this, that, the other thing. I'm not saying we're reptilian, but whatever. But it has been proven that people that like are nasty, horrible people, they literally use more of that part of their brain. You know, some people call it the fight or flight. It's a little bit to do with that, but no, it's the disturbing part. 
And that kind of gets back into the blood. You know, you literally have Princess Diane talking about, you know, they're reptilians. They like blood, this, that. And this is documented. You can figure this out and go look it up yourself. More than a, a handful of times. More than a couple handfuls of times. Did Princess Di literally say things about the royal family? And I'm not saying that they're reptilian, but they're bloodline. They will not meet with anybody else unless, you know, and have it succeed. If it is not part of the bloodlines. And yes, of course, they do have their dukes and their knights and their bishops and all this that they have, you know, doing what they do. Who do you think is our, is our president? You know, but what is insane is it's always about the blood. It's always about the blood. Why is it always about the blood? What is so strong and crazy about blood? Oh, yeah. They talk about, you know, baby's blood keeping you alive longer, keeping you healthy, this, that, the other thing. You know, it's... I have so much to get into, but uh, seriously, I'm uh, like 11 minutes in, and it's literally going to probably take two hours to even download what the heck I'm going to drop, so... <sighs> there I am in. But whatever. Hey, I got Pops home. I've been having to check on him. I got a baby monitor on him. So when I hear him coughing, I can go running in there. Really awesome to have him back home. Stuck up here 24-7, but well worth it for somebody that you love. Um, You know, it, it, everything that they've done, they've done to literally disconnect us from what we're supposed to truly care about and believe in and love. And we've allowed it to happen. I mean, they just, they're just slowly just eating away at the minds and the hearts of our souls. And we continue to allow it. But at the same time, you know, evil is rising. But guess what? Truth and God and the true Father, He has come upon us. Look, if you are sitting here still listening to me right now, if you are listening to me right now, you hear me. Do you not? You are somebody special. And I don't mean that to be a dick. I mean that in the greatest possible way. You are listening to me because you know there is something wrong in this world. And there is something that is lies. And there is something that you want to find whatever real truth that you can. That's why you're listening to me. So you go out there and you find the real truth of this world. Because I promise you everything that you've ever been told. Why they call it the Matrix I'm not going to say it's a matrix or we live in a computer program, but why they call it the matrix is because everything that we've ever been told is a lie. Everything that goes on is a lie. From drug wars, we all know that the CIA, all that, you know, they're the one making all the money. They're, I mean, they make money on both ends. That That's, you know, think about it. Every single war, every single anything. The main people behind it literally put their freaking bets on both ends and made money off of both ends. Didn't never matter who won. You know, the, everybody thought there was two sides. No, there's three sides. And that third side always wins. Oh, yeah, let's get into the third eye. All right, people trying to open up their third eye do not. Look, that third eye literally was a remote for God to have contact with us. We're not supposed to open it. Not in the way of speaking tongues or um, um, or vibrating like that. No. If you want to open up that third eye with the true father, and I don't mean in any sense of what anybody else is talking about, open up the third eye. That third eye was meant for him to use to have con to have contact with us. If you want to talk within that realm, you do not, when you meditate, when you do whatever you think about nothing but the father, you do not do ums or vibrations or chants or anything like that. You talk. No more, no less. You talk with him. Whether you're talking inside of your head or you're talking with your mouth. You talk words. You talk understanding. You do not do mantras and you don't do freaking chants. That is of the devil. That is literally freaking magic. That And uh, most people don't even realize. The English language was one of the only languages that has ever been written or made that was completely mathematical. No freaking joke. Completely mathematical, completely to connect with almost every other... You gotta look up this stuff. Like I always say, please think that I'm stupid. Please think that I'm stupid and do your own damn research. 
I am telling you, you are here on this plane of existence for a reason. You have a purpose. Find your purpose. Spread your truth. Blow the trumpets as loud as you can. I love every single one of you. Fight for the future of our children. Don't think, oh, well, what's going to come to pass is going to come to pass. Well, guess what? If you're listening to me, guess what? He's woken you up. Or you wouldn't be sitting here still listening to me. You've been awakened. So are you going to sit there and go, oh, what will come to pass will pass. And you're going to sit over there and roll over and be a freaking little cunt. And let him have to wake somebody else up. To do what your job is. Don't do that. Wake up, brothers and sisters. I love every single one of you. Please, everybody knows they're trying to shadow ban me. They're blocking me. They're this, that, the other freaking thing. Please share this with everybody that you can. What's really nice, please give the thumbs up because it's funny when I get more thumbs up than it shows I have views. But please share this with everybody that you can and please leave a comment. If not, leave two because they even try to hide those. I love all of you. Please find your way so that you can have the true father walk with you. And I promise you, the first time that you feel his hands on your shoulders and he tells you whatever he does tell you, but he says, my son or my daughter, whatever he says to you, when those hands are upon your shoulders and he lets you know what you're doing is what he wants and what he wanted from you, it will be the greatest high that you ever felt in your life. All right, I love you all.